Hi, I am Negar Hashemian from Penn State University and my advisor is Dr. Armel. Today I'm going to present a new method to reduce wet granulation models in Wester unit. There are many dynamic systems in nature which consist of particles. Two-component granulation, which is widely used in pharmaceutical applications, is an example of these kinds of processes. The particles in this system are distinguished by their size and composition. And the population balance study results in a complex mathematical model. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about modeling the bicomponent granulation processes using orthogonal projections and the method of moments. Also, for more information, you may read our papers listed at my webpage. In this presentation, first I explain the granulation process in a Wester unit operation. Afterward, I will explain constant number Monte Carlo method to simulate this process. This method is reliable but very slow, and we can't use this approach in granulation control or estimation. So, I'm gonna introduce a new method to reduce the original model down to an ordinary differential equation set employing Lagrange polynomials and method of moments. The state variables of this reduced model are moments of the output's distribution. The Wester unit operation is used for granulation in the pharmaceutical industries. This unit has two concentric cylinders, the insert and the annulus. An air stream flows into the unit from the bottom. The particles are loaded in the annulus. The particles from the annulus pass through the partition gap and then are pushed into the insert. The solvent is sprayed on the particles flowing in the insert. Then particles collide with each other and form bigger ones. The particles slow down and fall back into the annulus. The recirculation is continued until the desired size and composition are achieved. Each particle in this process has two components. The total mass of a particle is denoted by P and S represents the mass of the binder content in the particle. Also, F of P and S describes the population distribution of the particles. In this small range, the number of particles may increase because of the particle formation from the smaller ones, or they might decrease because of collision with other particles and bigger particle formation. This integral differential equation considers these two phenomena to obtain the rate of population distribution change, where k is the kernel of formation of particles from particle R1 and R2. This kernel function is dependent on size and composition. The agglomeration kernel is proportional to type of particles, physical and geometrical factor. In Wester unit, no coagulation occurs between two binder drops. Also, the coagulation rate constant between a particle and a binder droplet is 100 times faster than two arbitrary particles. The Stokes number is used to quantify the behavior of particles. The collision between two particles is successful when the Stokes number calculated for the pair is below a critical value.
Therefore, psi returns 1 when the Stokes number of colliding particles is less than or equal to st star and is otherwise 0. Also, geometrical factor relates the coagulation rate to the amount of accessible binder. Where yi is the ratio of the binder to the total mass. One way to solve this integral differential equation in time is constant Monte Carlo simulation. In this method, there should always be a constant number of particles in the simulation box. At every sampling time, we randomly pick two particles. Then we generate a random number. The ratio of the corresponding kernel to average value for kernels shows the agglomeration probability of the selected pair. When rho is bigger than this ratio, the pair is rejected and the random pair selection is repeated. Otherwise, the pair is accepted to form a bigger particle. After an agglomeration, the number of particles in the box decreases, so we randomly pick a particle in the box to duplicate. To keep the real concentration, the box must become larger. Smith and Matsukas introduced constant number Monte Carlo simulation for single component processes. This method is reliable but slow for applications such as state estimation and control. Yu and his colleagues employ Taylor expansions to approximate the distribution moments of the system and derive a deterministic model. However, in agglomeration process, the composition of particles is important as well. So Matsukas extended his stochastic simulation method for bicomponent coagulation. In a previous work, we exploited the idea in use work, but for bicomponent coagulation processes to obtain a deterministic reduced order model. However, the Taylor expansions of moments cannot be used for problems with the composition-dependent kernel function. As a result, in this work, we use Lagrangian polynomials to approximate the implicit governing equation with an ODE set. For the model reduction, we define mixed moment variables. Therefore, M00 is the number of particles per volume unit. M10 is the total mass per volume unit. And M01 is the total solute mass per volume unit. As we discussed before, the governing equation appears in an integral differential form. Then we employ Legoer polynomials LNs and LMs to approximate the population function F. We plug the approximate function in the original integral differential. After some simplification, this results in an ODE set in which the moments are the variables. Hulbert exploit reduction technique for monocomponent coagulation process. The nth order Legoer polynomial is defined as, and this is the weight function. The gamma distribution is used in the construction of these orthogonal polynomials. The support for the gamma distribution is limited to positive numbers. This makes these polynomials the preferred choice. We extend the work by considering the addition of a binder using two-dimensional Legler polynomials. 
where lambda, gamma, c, and d are the parameters of the Laguer polynomials and are required to be positive. In order to obtain the coefficients kappa and m, we use the orthogonality properties and we obtain Using definition of moments and after some simplification of the initial IDE, we obtain the following expression. Where dot u i j is the i j mixed moment of the input binder flow. And a equals to p to i s to j. In theory, all the moments are required for reconstruction of the particle population. However, for practicality issues, we we'll limit our attention to only a finite set of population moments. Also, the right-hand side of the equation needs to be numerically integrated over an unbounded four-dimensional polyhedron. In practice, there is an upper bound on the total mass and the binder mass of the particles in the system. This upper bound generally depends on the duration and the initial population distribution. To perform the evaluation, we use the result obtained by constant number Monte Carlo simulation as a benchmark and compare it with the reduced order model result. These figures show the moments using constant number Monte Carlo method. And the black lines show the results from the reduced order model. In summary, the models for granulation in the literature are in integral differential forms. Method of moments using Laguer polynomials is a useful method to reduce these models. The simulation result shows the reduced model can be used for online estimation of systems moments. For more information, Please read our papers listed at my webpage.